Okay, so I mentioned on my pre-order part two for 2021 20, video that I managed to get this figure of Aqua one fourth bunny version from Bai. Um, so I got her for 26,000 yen plus the 1,000 yen of fees for Bai, which is honestly incredible. Um, there was one that came up after the 75,000 yen, but there have been one or two others that have been much less. Um, so the big worry for this was whether it was legitimate, there were no pictures of the box, but as we can see here, there is a Kadokawa official sticker. Yay! So the good news is, is that she's legitimate. Now I haven't opened her to check for any damages yet, this is what this video is about. So let's see how lucky I was. So um, first I'll start with the box. As I mentioned, we've got the sticker authenticity, we've got the... Oh, push it back a bit more, we've got the Konosuba logo in the top, the B-style one, and then it's all like brick wall kind of theme on here, which is kind of interesting, with a big open window. It's similar to Darknesses in that way, there's a silhouette of Aqua and some text here, we've got a little panel to see through. There is some markings on it because it's used, but otherwise good. And then we've got this lovely shots of her at the back, um, along with this weird like font for some reason. I don't know why they've done it like this. And then on this side we've got a really nice shot of her. Um, the instructions are on the top. Um, but the interesting thing is they have put bubble wrap inside, uh, which I don't think you can see from there. But if I pull it in you might see an outline of it, which is pretty interesting. Um, there is some damages to the box, but we don't really care about that. <laughs> what we care about is what's inside. So the, they've peeled off the plastic instead. Um, we've got some instructions here about something to do with the uh, cuffs for some reason. Um, I'm just going to try and pull this into position. Bear with me. Um, right, moment of truth. So let's pull her out. Um, so far we're looking pretty good. Um, there's some notes about scratches on the base, um, but otherwise should be okay. There is some nice like water pattern in here or something, um, which is pretty. But let's pop that over there for now and lift up this. So yeah, she does look like she's in good condition from what we can see in the blister. Um, if I spin it around, we do have like the plastic inserts, nothing missing. The base has been put applied back in. So yeah, I'm going to take a moment and get this set up. There's some kind of like bug squished in there or something, who knows. Um, I'll take a moment to set this up and be right back. Hey, I'm back and I apologise for all the junk in the background. Um, there's some carving stuff there and things like that. So um, there are a couple of paint flaws on this where they've obviously chipped it or dropped her or something. Which, it's the back so I'm not too fussed about that. Um, from the front she looks absolutely fine so if I pull her sideways a moment to fit her in there is some lovely gradient but as I turn her head, I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up, there are some scratches on the side of her head here. It's not too noticeable um, but obviously if you're looking up close like I am it is noticeable but the gradient on her hair, the lighting in here is shocking so I'm so sorry, um, is absolutely gorgeous. There's some gorgeous gradient here. Um, I also love like the little bows on her outfit and the sleeves that she has and she looks absolutely adorable. Her face is lovely, lovely. she's got this cute little smile, her ears are really nice and those are, those are well kept and her hair at the back, the loop bit is fine, it's just this little bit on the side here that's an issue. Everywhere else um, there's a couple of like her tip of her hair here, you can see there's a white bit, I'm trying to pull that in. That is like another chipped bit, but overall, considering the price I paid and the fact that she will now fit in much better because she has the stockings, she looks fantastic. Um, there are, if I just scroll this down slightly, there are um, plastic inserts for her feet to make sure she stands properly and she only wobbles just a little bit. No issues with her tights or anything like that. Um, the base is huge as a warning like it's as big as my hand um, but she looks beautiful I'm very excited to have her in my collection um, it does mean I do have to go and plea with Ami Ami to be okay with me cancelling the bare leg version now 
but I think she's been worth it. Um, as much as the trauma I had with DHL, so by accidentally sent my address, sent this parcel to another city, they keep doing it, I don't know why, um, but yeah, overall, really happy with her, um, especially for 26,000 yen. There is that slight flaw with her hair, but I can live with that, especially as from this angle you can't see a thing and you want her facing you anyway, so yeah. I'll take some b-roll for you to look at and uh, thanks for watching.